did the monster mash. You did the mash. It was the graveyard smash. We literally already listened to Monster Mash, watched Hocus Pocus, and Casper, and it's not even 9 a.m. We go hard in the Halloween at the Williams house, you know. I'm really thinking about the week of the 26th, the Halloween party, um, just doing like a test run, like a trial run of my makeup, and just doing my intro and outro, like wearing it and scaring the shit out of you guys. What's up guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to another edition of Kim Perfect Plans. Hello, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but I'm kind of digging it, so I'm just going to roll with it. Sound like a talk show host. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. So, today's video is going to be super fun. It's the first of Halloween. I'm in a great mood. I'm just stoked on life. So, I am like actually ahead of schedule for once. So, I'm going to be showing you my second weekly spread of October. But I also put together a cool little checklist for, um, it's called my Halloween party checklist. But you can kind of use it for anything. Like, you're just your Halloween trick-or-treating checklist. Like, a travel checklist. I mean, you probably wouldn't want to theme your travel checklist like Halloween. Get the gist. It's like, this, just the same concept. All right. So, don't forget to stay tuned to the end for my shout-outs. But here is the video. All right, all my little pretty planner witchies, it's time to get magical. I have been getting so into this theme that I am like setting up my setup like this literally every time I film, and not even every time I film, just every time I bujo now. I got the the little kitty cats, the, the candles, just I'm really feeling the whole Halloween vibe. And I have to apologize, This the few seconds at the beginning of this are a little bit blurred and out of focus, but it's gonna focus in a few seconds here and you'll be able to see a little bit better what I'm doing. But I'm going to explain, explain it to you right now. So, basically this is um, my Halloween party checklist. And you can do this for whatever, you know, just Halloween checklist, a party checklist, a travel checklist. You just may wanna not theme it like witchery, but <laughs> for the most part you can kind of do this sort of same sort of outline with anything i just all i did was i made the um the little brainstorming areas look like witches brooms that way and all the little squares all the little brackets will be all my different ideas and and i'll put an x if i don't like the idea and then i'll put a check with the final idea that i'm finally going to stick to so for instance this first little broom here i am going to have as my designated area for brainstorming costume ideas so for the first little thing there i will just be putting you know different ideas of what i think our costume should be i'll x out the ones that i don't like and then in the little purple witch's hat over there i'm going to write final and that's where i will write down our final choice for our halloween costumes and they have to be epic this year like we've been going to this party for I've been going for seven years. My husband's been going for like five, I think. And we literally have never won the costume contest. So we are going ham and we are gonna win a trophy. So the next little checklist there, I have how and where we're going to get the costume. Are we gonna DIY it? Are we gonna go to the Halloween store and buy it? And then the last two little checklists, I just have the last little to-dos of everything that I need to finish and everything that he needs to finish and just be all done. And then I used my Sticker Guru witchy stickers just to add the date of the party. And then also a couple more stickers just, just that say to do, just so I know that those are my final, final to do's for the Halloween party. And I am so excited about it. I can't wait to show you guys. <laughs> it's going to be pretty serious. So let's get into the first weekly spread. I'm sorry, the second weekly spread of October now. So this was actually inspired by some really beautiful tarot cards that I saw on Pinterest. I will kind of put a few up on here on the screen so you can kind of see. I saw some pink ones, some purple ones, a lot of really bright colors. They were just really beautiful. I really liked those pink one, pink, pink and black ones. So I'm gonna use a couple, you know, a little inspiration from that, a little inspiration from here, a little inspiration from there, you know, and then, you know, sort of add my own take to it. So basically I am just taking my bright watercolors and just doing some bright tarot cards. I wanted them to be, again, purple, very purpley. I like purple for Halloween. 
bright purple and bright pinks and grays and even some blues and greens as well in there. I really like that as well. So I'm just doing a first layer of watercolors right now and then I'm gonna let it dry and go over it again and then even add a little bit of pearl, pearlescent watercolors to it just to give it a little bit of extra shimmer and sparkle since I saw so many pretty sparkly tarot cards on Pinterest. I just, I could not get over how many beautiful ones there are out there now. And I want to just say like as a forewarning <laughs> that I have no idea what any of the symbols that I'm going to draw actually mean. I don't think that any of them pertain to my actual life. So like don't be alarmed but there's some like really weird ones on there. I basically just picked designs that I knew that I would be, you know, able to draw easily. <laughs> Just in case, you know, because I really went back and forth on whether I was even going to put designs on the tarot cards or not, because I was a little bit worried that, you know, with the design on there, you wouldn't have any room for the tasks. But it turns out that I have pins in literally every color, gold, silver, white, black. I have paint pins for God's sake. I'm pretty sure I can write on literally anything. But then I also added a few little um, circles around the sides of the tarot cards just to give me a little bit of extra extra added space to, to write my to-dos if I need to. So I'll have plenty of space and I just really, really wanted to draw the designs in here because I felt like it was gonna look kind of plain. It's just a tarot card. It would have been kind of tell hard to tell that it was even a tarot card without the little designs in there. So. I just went for it, I was having a good time, and I, I made it work in the end, so I'm really happy with it. Now I am just going in and adding those cute little pearl pearlescent watercolors. I wish you could really see them on the screen a lot better, but for some reason they just don't pick up very well. Um, but they really give it like a nice glittery, shimmery effect, and it makes it look just gorgeous in, in real life. I wish you could see it in real life. I'm gonna be posting this to Instagram, so hopefully it'll look a little better on there. So now I'm taking a gold gel pen. I saw a lot of gold with the tarot cards and I am just doing a little outline, you know, just a little square. And then I'm using my white Uni Ball Signo gel pen. Again, everything that I use in the video will be linked down in the description below if anyone's interested. So that, this little area right here is usually where you write the name of the tarot card, like whatever it is, if it's the, the lover's card or the, the, the ace of spades or the, the heart of cups. I'm literally making stuff up. I have no idea anything about tarot cards, so don't mind me. So instead, I just went and drew the uh, days of the week in there instead. And I accidentally um, lost the footage of me record or drawing that first little doodle there, but the first little doodle I'm pretty sure is like a death card. It's like some sort of ax or something. The second one is the sun. The third one I think is my favorite. It's just a cute little black cat. It's adorable. Don't even know if that's actually an, a real tarot card, but I don't care. It's so cute. <laughs> and then I got um, another idea from, I saw a top hat tarot card and I thought it'd be really cute if I made it a witch's hat instead of a top hat, just to sort of go with the theme, of course. For here, I was trying to do a moon with just my gold pearlescent watercolors and it didn't really work out. You couldn't really see it at all. So instead I took my gold uni ball gel signo pen and just sort of colored in the gold moon instead. And it worked much better that way. It looks much better. You can see it, it's much more defined. So I'm glad that I went with that option. And then I even took my little silver one and kind of did a little outline. I was having so much fun with this. Just picking the designs was hard just to be able to pick six. So now I am doing a little key. And then the last one I'm gonna do is gonna be that cute little witch's hat that I was telling you about that was actually a, a top hat. I never really did see a witch's hat on a tarot card, but hey, it's okay. It's my bujo, my rules. That's what I always say. <laughs> oh man, and I always, and I did use the Roman numerals that they use on tarot cards for the days of the week, which I thought was a nice little touch. And I'm using my stamps that I used last week because they worked so well and I love them. And here is a picture of the final copy just so you can see how I made it work. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world to me. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload. I upload new bullet journal videos every Wednesday. And my next one is super exciting. It's the ultimate Tombow tutorial, 50 plus ways to use your Tombows. And some of them are a little bit funny, I gotta say. They're not really real. For the most part, it's gonna be like an educational video that I actually wanna teach you guys about blending, indirect blending, direct blending, coloring, watercolor, and just all the different techniques and ways to use your Tombows. 
I just have been wanting to do this video for a while and I think y'all are going to love it. But um, in case you don't know this about me, I do like to throw a little humor on the side of my bullet journal videos. So hopefully you guys won't mind a little, a little fun sprinkled in. All right. So let's get into my shout outs. So first shout out is going to be my Instagram shout out, Lily Bujo. I will link her down in the description below. And I'm also going to put her up right here. I think it's probably like the most brightest, colorful feed I have ever scrolled through in my life. And her lettering is just so gorgeous she is just very very talented go follow her immediately she's great and for youtube i want you to do journal by caroline get on there and go subscribe just scrolling down her feed her thumbnails are just so clean and pretty she's also doing a witchy theme for october but hers is like really cool it's just very clean watercolors like purple witches hats and i'll put some pictures and stuff up on here so you guys can see but amazing go run on over and subscribe she deserves like way more subscribers than she already has so for real get on over there so i will link both of them down in the description below along with all the materials used in this video like always and i also always list the playlist in the description too don't forget to follow me on instagram at kim perfect plans and i will see you guys wednesday your witches